we just pulled into Sea Rim State Park, and that is in southern Texas, right on the Gulf. In fact, there's the Gulf right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's it's right through those long reeds there. Um, it's really cool. It's actually there's a lot of the sites here pull through, um, but they're really big. It has power and water. Just dump station so you don't have to dump on your site but <clears throat> they have this big long boardwalk which i'll take you guys down and it takes you right down to the beach and you can also drive your cars on the beach and then they have this kayak paths that um go into down this riverway into these lakes so we're here for five days and we're gonna check it all out and i'm gonna try and fish in the gulf and in those lakes and see if I can catch some fish because to be honest with you I haven't been catching very many fish down here in the south um, it's probably because it's the time of year and all but I've been a little bit let down I thought I was gonna come down here and catch all kinds of fish and that hasn't been the case but as you can see Normie is on his pad and he's exploring he's discovered a few birds um, but check out our site here we got uh, two shepherd hooks here, which we don't have we don't need lanterns, but we hung our wind chimes and we have a fire pit and we have a picnic table and I mean I'm walking to the end of my site. This is like the end of my site right here, and this is actually All of this is my site so big difference from RV parks and thousand trails this is much more spacious, uh, much many more amenities, and we're really looking forward to the next few days here. Oh, and by the way, if you're looking for internet signal, uh, with AT&T, we have awesome internet signal here. I haven't checked Verizon yet, but I'll let you know what the Verizon signal is here too, because you know if you have to work when you're out and about, you can work here. It was an interesting drive getting in here. When we got in here, we had to drive through a huge oil refinery and I've never seen an oil refinery I mean maybe on TV and whatnot being from the Northwest but uh, maybe for those down that live down in Texas you're like oh yeah that's pretty common but it's pretty massive and uh, it was kind of interesting being that that was the path into the state park here so you know another thing I found interesting too is as we got closer to the oil refineries gas prices got higher why is that why is it when I was farther away in Texas, gas prices were almost 25 cents per gallon cheaper than when I got closer to the oil refineries? That makes no sense to me. But uh, maybe you can comment and give me some information on that. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's a big old drum. Look at this guy. Oh, hell yeah. My goodness.
Look at this one, guys. Holy moly. I was not counting on that kind of a fish today. <laughs> Looks like a, a red drum. I don't know, but that's the biggest one of them I ever caught. Well, I'm going to go let him go. But there he is, guys. I forgot my scale, so I can't weigh him. But he's a few pounds. He's big. All right, let's go let him go. There you go. Woo! Here we are at the Gulf of America. <laughs> Gulf of Mexico. Texas coast. It's beautiful. So we rode our bikes out here. It's low tide right now. You can see behind us where the tide usually comes in at, where the ch color, the sand changes color. And then since the tide is out, we rode our bikes out here to the edge. You can see all the birds, everything, you know, taking advantage of the low tide, but the water's actually fairly warm-ish. Warm-ish. Watch, Amy will dip her feet in the water. <laughs> water is warmer than the swimming pool at the RV park we went to. Oh, did I mention this is December? So this is the kind of weather we're going to be spending our Christmas in. Yeah. <laughs> so Amy and I are having a bet on how deep this water is. I said I can go out probably couple hundred feet and it wouldn't be knee deep so I'm gonna see if I can win that bet all right all right well I'm knee deep and I think if I go out there it'll be more shallow but I think I'm gonna go ahead and head back in just cuz uh, you told me there's no sharks in here why aren't you swimming out there uh, my uh, my back's a little sore from uh, sleeping last night. Otherwise, I totally did. I just caught a wave. We've been at this state park now for about four days and the weather's been gorgeous today's a little windy it's supposed to get some rain um, I did some fishing did some kayaking it was really really great stay especially being December one thing about this park though if you are thinking about ever coming here is the mosquitoes are unbelievable not only uh, when it starts to when dusk starts happening and and they just come out in gangs um, they get in your RV and we spend several hours just killing mosquitoes in our RV and we weren't going in and out I don't know how they were getting in but they were in and you know we got bit throughout the night I would say 
I've probably got no less than 30 or 40 bites on my body and Amy's the same. The cat's been chasing the mosquitoes. They're really bad here. So it's one thing to consider if you're gonna come here, bring lots of mosquito spray and be prepared because you will get bit. Thank you.